Well, I kind of hate it when they lock the orientation on your phone, guys. So I have to flip this around. Anyway, listen, I wanted to give you guys. Uh, let's see if we get this thing to work right here. Want to let you guys know something that's going on, and I'll be talking about this later this evening on Israeli News Live. Uh, but I got a message today that scientists had met, uh, Pentagon scientists had met to discuss the New Madrid fault line. Uh, I do, uh, and before I get in the New Madrid fault line, let me just real quick uh, share with you. Uh, and uh, God bless you, Sharon Rose. I think that's the name on there. Yes. Uh, but at any rate, um, the there are three major hot spots that they're watching right now. Uh, I did do a special video for Patreon, those of you who want to watch over there, that I went into some other issues too that I've been discussing in some private meetings there. But um, there are three major issues that are 60 to 70% probability of seismic activity on the West Coast, Japan, and in uh, Italy, and the surrounding areas there in Italy. Italy is the 70% probability. The 60% deals more with the West Coast and also with Japan. So not a high probability, but there is a lot of seismic activity that they're anticipating here, uh, as well as some very severe wind uh, storms coming up uh, in the very near future. Uh, similar to what actually caused the capsizing of the ship in the Gulf of Mexico. I was actually told that they never reported the truth of it. The winds were actually up to 125 miles an hour when the ship capsized. So just wanted to uh, let you guys know know about that. But we're back. All right. Bone shouldn't be hot. Just sitting here. Anyway, um, I wanted to let you guys know, though, that what's going on is I got a message in that Pentagon scientists were meeting about the New Madrid fault line. Uh, they're telling me that this is anticipated, uh, and this is again just the best of their understanding, but they're anticipating the New Madrid fault line to go fully, full blown within three years. Uh, they say low probability as early as the fall of 2021, uh, but a very high probability in by 2023 that the New Madrid fault line could actually come unglued. Uh, I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of this. I will talk about this in more detail later this evening uh, over on Israeli News Live and uh, also uh, uh, Patreon. I actually went into some of the issues, not about the New Madrid because I didn't have that information as of yet, but I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of this uh, right now because that's some very, very major issues. Uh, but we got into over on Patreon, I got into discussing uh, uh, the frequencies uh, we're about to go through frequency changes within our own body and that is really going to open up something to you that may not be very pleasant uh, so anyway I want to just share all that with you guys God bless you thank you for watching Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live talk to y'all later I gotta figure out how to turn the thing off now right okay here we go